All right, 73 degrees out there already. Hmm, what kind of trouble will I get in today while the boys are on a road trip? Yeah, well, we'll see how that road trip's going to go in just... I tell you, the trouble you are in, you, you overbooked the kitchen today. That's we got me. got Terry in here, too, mate. She grill. We'll talk him in just a moment. Lillian back this morning before school starts. There's no reason you can't come in before school starts. I mean, just because you had to get up by 4 or 5 o'clock in the morning. What are you cooking today? I'm going to be cooking sweet potato fries today. Sweet potato fries, aren't they supposed to be kind of good for you? Yeah, they're kind of healthy, you know. Kind of healthy. You know what my biggest problem was? I can't, yeah, here it is. Yesterday I'm trying to eat lunch. Yesterday I'm trying to eat lunch. We had, <laughs> how much the salt cost? Isn't it relatively inexpensive? Yeah, it's inexpensive. We are completely out of salt at our house. I cannot live without salt. I'll try anyway. Yeah. <laughs> Tom in here this morning on the Tuesday morning edition of Cooper County Live. Carrie joins down at HG Green. He's going to be cooking it. What are you cooking us today, Carrie? Beef. Beef. What? Like a beef. All beef. right. Last time he taught us how to cook sushi up yeah. here. You ever had any sushi? No, I've never had any. Well, it's good. He explained it. But anyway, <laughs> no salt. Frank's in the phone. The phone is one 230 This is Athens in the AM on a Tuesday morning. Over this past weekend, we were out at Piney Chapel visiting all the folks out there for the Antique Engine and Tractor Show. Didn't see you out there. <laughs> Saw the sheriff. We'll talk to him in just a little bit. He's lost 35 pounds and wants the world to know it. No fried food for Sheriff Mike Blakely. Also, we went, went by Zach's yard sale. We'll talk about that in just a little bit. Plus, we got a controversy brewing. Yes, Tom, we do. Tom, us out on that in just a little bit. We'll see how that goes. First, let's get to the weather on this Tuesday morning edition of Cooper Company Live. 50 cent chance of rain, what's the deal? <laughs> no, only a 20% chance of those uh, showers today, which is a good thing. 73 degrees outside already this morning. Should be an absolutely beautiful day and maybe even see some sunshine today. Get out and about with the high temperatures around 89, which will feel like a cool front for many of you. Low temperatures of 69 tomorrow. 90 for your high, still 20% chance of those showers. The rest of the forecast looking like rain we may see possibly on Thursday and then carried on into Friday. Wednesday, I don't think we are, it's only a 20% chance so far. So Thursday may be the biggest day for rain. 2304988 does get Frank this morning, though. All right, back in action, big weekend. Kerry, thanks for coming up again. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Bump, bump me up here. Yeah. <laughs> we'll make you feel good in here in a minute. HD Grill, Tom, what's happening in your world? Oh, just work. Real just busy. work? Uh-huh. Hey, we, we got a lot of things to talk about today. We'll check with Lillian in just a little bit. Other things, too. I just told y'all we went to Zach's yard sale. We got a picture of that at Zach's. <laughs> Here's uh, Zach and his family. Here's Agnes. Family, that's me on the right. That's me in the white shirt. If you, in case y'all didn't know, they Bama fans just like me. Every but single one of them. I think everybody had it. That's Gloria in the middle. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah. Zach's mama, like daddy, Aunt Edna, a whole bunch out that way. Well, we'll have a video of what Zach. Speaking of that, Zach had this for sale. He didn't even know what it was. He didn't. I said that's a photo holder, Zach. Well, I still don't know what it is. Tom, would you recognize that? I'm oh, sure. You photos in here. And yeah, we have, we have one of those in our house. So anyway, yeah. they gave us to us. Pictures on it. <laughs> we owe Zach a dollar. Oh, a dollar for that. Okay. Yes. And that other photo you took, when was that? Yesterday? Yesterday after Landers McCarty. I had a big meeting yesterday. We did. Me and Gloria did a sales presentation over at Landers McCarty at 8 o'clock. So I was there kind of rushed yesterday morning. <laughs> okay, here's me getting ready to go. Got my iPad. That was coming home. DVD, oh, that was, and a bottle in my pocket for the baby. <laughs> what was in there? Man? My life has changed, Tom. <laughs> my for the life better. has changed. For the better. All right. Let me get to, we've got a little controversy going here. Let me straighten everything out right now. This past Friday, we were up here just BSing, as we always were. Well, it was, uh, and I'd heard this rumor forever that Jimmy's Lounge, where Walmart is scheduled to open, coming up, I think, uh, I've got a story at the Hustle Times this morning where they won't need 300 weeks. workers. But Jimmy's Lounge, an icon over that way, right there on Highway 72. Uh, great business. Well, I'd heard forever that they were been offered $2 million for that piece of property. You've heard the same rumor. Yeah. Well, Greg was up here the other day, and he still years. listed some property over there. Greg says he heard, it's all rumor. We just said it's all rumor heard. He heard that when Walmart opens, Jimmy's Lounge would be closing. He did say it was a rumor. Yeah, it was a rumor. It was a rumor. But lo and well, behold... After hearing from their law firm yesterday, who represents <laughs> them well, to want us to straight up, said that their business had uh, evidently a lot of people that watch us go to Jimmy's Lounge. Apparently. And I thank y'all for watching and going down to Jimmy's Lounge. 
They are, let me straight to, set the record straight right now, once and for all. I know the owner done it, met him many years ago, great guy. They are not closing. Jimmy's Lounge is not closing anytime soon and has never been offered any money from Walmart to close. <laughs> First of all, he probably wouldn't have turned down $2 million had they been offered. That, <laughs> I, I, I would, would take that as a big compliment if I were the owners of Jimmy's Lounge. Jimmy's Lounge is not closing a straight knowledge. They sent us a big deal to read, but it would take me for a whole hour to read it. So I'm just saying right now, thank y'all for getting back in touch with us. Y'all are welcome up on the program. We look forward to coming down and uh, interviewing so the owners voice, down that way. Are boys going down there Road trip. That's right. Me and Frank <laughs> headed down and Tom head, all headed down one day this week. Head down Jimmy. Anyway, Jimmy's Lounge is not closing. Set the record straight. No. Just in case anybody needs to know that, I'll be taking questions if you want to give me a call. Hush. All right, let's move on right now. Let's talk about some football. University of Alabama football kickoff party that's coming up. The Madison County Alumni Association, August 23rd at the Weston, starting at 5 p.m. Mr. College Football, Tony Barnhart, will be the guest speaker. Includes a buffet, door prizes, silent auction, and all that stuff. So that's coming up again August 23rd at the Weston. Yes. Speaking of Alabama football, let me remind you, we kick off at 7 o'clock on ABC September 1st. Two days, Lillian, after my birthday, just in case you want to get me a gift. ABC has said its announcers, Tom, Brent Munzberger, and Gosh. Kurt Herbstreet will provide the color. Now, they will announce that ball game. Surely the goodness, we will not be stuck with a woman announcer this year <laughs> in any of our ball games. That will drive if there's anything crazy. I hate worse than anything, Carrie, it's a woman announcing a football game. <laughs> Nothing Carrie against you women, I'm married to one. Uh, but I don't want to announce a football game. You ain't going to announce no football game. Just so isn't anyway. right, is it? All right. Just want to make sure everybody knows that. Tom, you with me on that, right? I am. Yeah, I just cannot stand it. Uh, <laughs> I'm getting scared to agree with him on a lot of things. <laughs> hey, well, yesterday we were down at visiting Chick-fil-A. You keeping up with that big controversy going on. We met with Matthew. Matthew says his sales were up 200% that one day. Some people across America were up four to 500% 500. in sales. Can you imagine? Uh, editorial the other day in the paper says, Chick-fil-A food fight leaves city officials eating crow. <laughs> uh, until it became the latest uh, front in the nation's culture where Chick-fil-A was best known for its crispy sandwiches, waffle fries, and the dancing cow ads. Now it's suddenly the focus of the volatile gay marriage debate. It's both sad and silly. But we'll try to do some of this all this week because we got a lot of information on that. And one of the articles, and we'll get back to this maybe when John Dees is with us tomorrow, is it un-American to be a Christian? No. No. Well, this article uh, goes on to say it shouldn't be not, but hey, if I was from Chicago right now, <laughs> I'd be so embarrassed about my idiot mayor up there, it wouldn't even be funny. He's a complete fool. He was Obama's right-hand man. There, what, what does that tell you? You cannot, it's like if you wanted to open another restaurant and the mayor's trying to tell you you can't because of your policy. You can't do that. Mm -hmm. No, nope. You cannot do that. Denying a private business permits uh, because of such speech by its owners is a blatant First Amendment violation. So, so will they open anyway? Probably because they cannot block them. So we'll, we'll get back to that later. That's going to be a controversy that's going to continue. But supposedly, what did they say? That 600 something thousand people Visited. went to Chick fil A. It worked so. well. Maybe we need to get a controversy brewing at your place. Get people well, pack in down there. We're trying to uh, provide a chicken free special. <laughs> <in the restaurant. laughs> well, that's good. That's good. Hey, while we're talking about cooking, I saw, I told Lily, I said, if you're going to do something, you need to get in and making cakes. Huntsville she Times had this picture that. of Bob Johnson right here. He's located on Regal Drive. Says he's a part-time cake baker, Tom. Got into it four years ago. He cuts hair for a real living. But then he's got this other cake right here, this big cake. Hmm. That cake right there that he made cost $14,000. $14,000 for a cake. Hmm. Who, who bought it? I don't know. Carrie, I think. <laughs> for, our grand, <laughs> for our grand opening down at his restaurant. <laughs> so uh, $14,000 for That's a cake. It's crazy. located right across from Peggy Ann Bakery. That's insane. Mm. Insane, but hey, you never know. Sound a lot of gold on it. I got other, I got plenty of stuff to talk about today, but let me go on to something else here. Goodness. Okay. Out of beer, need a ride to buy more? Call 911. How's it going, Frank? I'm doing good. Columbia, Tennessee, Abby, where are you headed today? 
Tennessee. When you're out of beer and you need a ride to get some, who are you going to call? 911, Columbia Daily Hair reported city police arrested a 67-year-old man after he allegedly called emergency dispatchers at least nine times. Most of the calls were hang up, but a dispatcher finally asked him, he said, could someone send me a ride so I can go get some more beer? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he said had he cooperated, he would have received just a citation, but besides that, he was arrested and charged with making a non-emergency situation. True. Using a 911 number. Using a 911 you know, yeah. number to ask if he could get some more beer. Hey, there's a lot of stuff talking, Abby. It's going, a lot of this is going to affect you. It eventually said inheritance in jeopardy. So we'll talk about that at a later point, too. But here's one for you. Let me do a Dear Abby before I go to news today. We all know somebody who's got a kid like this. Sometime it's too close to, for comfort. <laughs> oh, no. Dear Abby, on a Tuesday morning, I need some advice about my girlfriend, Vivian's son, Cassidy. <laughs> He's 21 and immature. I love her with all my heart and get upset when he verbally abuses her. I try not to say anything because it feels not my place. He ain't my kid. He hasn't worked in two years. Walks into his mama's house and takes whatever he wants, food, toothpaste, toilet paper, everything else. He, he won't help her even around the house. She's got to pay somebody to cut the yard. He won't even wash a dirty dish he uses. He just throws it in the sink. He lives rent-free in one of their duplexes that they <laughs> own. She's a wonderful person. She's also tired of her son's lack of motivation and how he takes her for granted. I know her mother doesn't want to see her child go hungry, but where do you draw the line? If y'all know, somebody please call me. Because <laughs> I need to draw the line. She should draw the line at the front I door. I you do that. By tolerating her son's disrespectful behavior, she's doing him no favors. True. How many of y'all? <laughs> oh boy, here we go. Like me, have a kid about that age who don't want to do nothing. Mm. Ain't got no ambition to do nothing. <laughs> All they want to do is get high for a while. <laughs> Xbox. He's a fan of Xbox. Well, he sold that. Oh, yeah. So anyway, I'm just asking. If you've got some advice out there, let me go back to one thing. Jimmy's Lounge is not closing, okay? Jimmy's Lounge is staying open. Look for Dusty McLemore's uh, Lindsey Lang big billboard right up above Jimmy's Lounge. But Jimmy's Lounge is not closing. Give them all up. Hey, i got an idea for them. I'm Since sure Since Walmart's opening. Won't y'all lease me that place early in the morning where me and Frank can come over there and we'll, people shop at Walmart and just drop their husbands off. We just have a regular buffet in there. There you go. Huh? What a brilliant idea. Uh, yeah. What do you think, Frank? I don't think so. <laughs> anyway, they're good folks over there. They're good folks over there, but Jimmy's Lands, I want to apologize if we said something we shouldn't have the other day, but it was all just a rumor. Are spread on this program? I mean, yeah, I mean, what did I say about you? What did I say about Tom the other day? <laughs> what did you say about me? Jimmy Lounge is not closing. Hey, by the way, thanks for reminding me, Brad. Y'all know every Monday here, I don't do a show on Mondays. I have to take a day off, four days a week here. I only like to work one hour it's a day. We, uh, for many, many years, we've been running the country road where everybody grew up watching those things. Mm -hmm. Back when I was much younger, my hair was much darker and much thicker. And you were thinner. And I worked a little bit harder. And what? <laughs> and you were thinner. You used to be good. And you were about 10. <laughs> uh, so... We've been running them so long now, so once a month now, or twice a month, we're going to something new on Mondays. Mm -hmm. We're going to start a segment coming up this Monday called Off the Cuff, where we've interviewed several local legends coming up off Cooper & Company's Off the Cuff. This Monday, we'll be, if y'all grew up like me, Tom, Benny Carl had a kid's show out of Birmingham. Later, one of the part owners of Channel 48 did a kid's show. A living legend is still alive. He's 87 mm -hmm. years old. He lives in Florence. We have a half-hour interview with him, and then we'll have a couple more coming up, too, real soon. What up with our very own Brad Pullum right here at Athens? Everyone wants to know what Brad does. Y'all know Brad. Talking about Benny Carl, I knew nothing about it, but watching that was really fascinating and interesting. Benny Carl was the first man ever on live TV, Tom, hmm. in Alabama in 1949. Hmm. Interesting story. And I intend to be the last man on in live TV in Alabama. <laughs> well, I will take a break. Carrie, right. thanks for coming up this morning. We're going to look forward to eating some of your chow in a moment. Okay. Yours too, Lillian, so don't run off Sweet nowhere. We got some video too coming mm -hmm. up later on this morning. We'll get to that. But right now, we'll take a break. Be right back. Y'all hang on.